Hello friends. So today we are going to learn about some of the new APIs available in our Android X packages. So one of them is very commonly used API. Uh, that is for you can say picking up the image from gallery. So that is very commonly used API by every developer. So let's see that how we can use that API uh, with the using the new packages and how it is e uh, easy and more convenient to use so to do that firstly we have to import the latest package for that that is the fragment package um, so to do that just go over google and search for android fragment ktx um, yeah and open the official documentation for that uh, sorry for typo so here uh, you can see that these dependencies are listed over here so in our case we'll be using the kotlin dependency so just copy it from here and open your build.gradle and paste it over here now we'll have to specify a fragment version for here so in our case we are not using the stable version but but we are using the alpha release because these set of apis are only available in the alpha uh, release as of now so paste it over here and delete any unnecessary symbols and spaces and click on sync now after doing that uh, just go to your fragment or any activity so in our case we are using the activity with a fragment in it so this is a basically empty fragment so uh, with the image view actually so this is a this is just a image view for uh, showing uh, the image whichever we are going to pick from our gallery so this is a image view with fixed height and width so now go to your main fragment and now uh, define a variable over here let's say private well and uh, um, picker content or content picker or anything so now we'll be using the new api available in this package so that is register activity um, for activity result yeah so here you can see that this accept two parameter one is activity result contract and other one is the uh, callback for the same so we'll be uh, using this and now we'll be using activity result contracts and now here you can see that we have a multiple set of classes over here in our case we will be using the get content class and here uh, this is a class so we'll have to create instance of it and now we'll be using this callback over here so in the callback you can see that it is re returning a, a uri because we are using get content and it will return the uri for the content uh, so now to start our launch of a gallery picker what we have to do is we'll use this variable and uh, let's say that we want our gallery picker uh, whenever our fragment gets started so you can also this uh, do this on a button click or anywhere so in our demo we'll be using it uh, whenever our uh, fragment gets created so let's override the own view created method and now we'll be using this uh, picker content variable we have created over here and it has some set of functions uh, one of them is launch and it accepts a string so this string will be actually the mime type of the um, basically media we want to pick so in our case this will be uh, image slash um, star because we want every image to uh, to be picked up and now uh, we'll simply run our application to check that if this works or not so currently our application was empty um so now uh, as soon as our you can see as soon as our view gets created we have that image picker opened over here so we can simply select any media and nothing will happen because we haven't actually handled the uri itself so you can see that how easy it is to actually start the uh, gallery picker for images or any media if you specify video over here if you can specify anything over here so it will react accordingly so with just these two lines of code uh, we have actually um, created our gallery picker uh, so now uh, we'll also have to handle its result and we want to show that result to this image view 
so just copy this id from here and paste it over here and let's use the method set image uri and we'll pass this uri over here so let's also define um, this uh, rather than using it we'll use uri oh shit yeah like this so we'll be using this uri over here so now we'll again start restart our activity so yeah so now it will open a image picker for us again and now we'll select the image and we can see that uh, here is our selected image uh, we'll run the project again to select a different image image so in this case we'll select this image and you can see this image over here so this is a very easy and convenient api uh, we don't um, have to actually overwrite any of the methods like own activity result or anything and doing all those uh, maintaining all those checks that uh, what's the request id uh, is the um, type of the result is result okay or result cancel and all that stuff so we can simply make a check for null for this uri over here and we can set the data accordingly and consume it so this is a really uh, easy way of implementing the new set of apis so but these apis are still in pretty much alpha stage so i'll not recommend to use it in your production ready apps but if you want to play around with some of the upcoming apis or new apis so you can do this in your demo applications or anywhere but i not recommend to use it in your production ready apps so that's it for this video so see you in next videos bye bye take care